combustion interesting in itself, but what I really like and probably it's what I most enjoy about combustion is that you can find it virtually everywhere. So the range of applicability is quite broad. So you can find it in uh, not only transportation, but also in defense, uh, aerospace, power generation. Uh, you can find combustion even in daily light appliances like you know your heater, your oven, all of those rely on combustion. So that's one of the things that I find most attractive about the science of, of combustions. Well, then combustion in aero engines, uh, combustors models. So in that, I'm working on two applications. One of them is related to the use of hydrogen as an alternative fuel, seeking to reduce CO2 emissions. And then with the other uh, combustor model, what we are doing is we are studying uh, soot production, again, aiming at reducing the emission of this contaminant in aero engines. within a project that it's uh, supporting the efforts in reducing emissions in the transport and propulsion uh, and energy uh, energy generation and most satisfied uh, in, in working in a project that it's supporting efforts in reducing uh, contaminants and pollutant emissions. I think nowadays most of the society is aware of the challenge that climate change is so having the opportunity to work in a project that it's aiming at uh, you know reducing co2 emissions and greenhouse emissions uh, as part of its main objective it's quite satisfactory um, and i feel grateful i feel grateful uh, for the opportunity of working in a project that contributes to this common goal that, that we all have. So having the opportunity to not only do it as a citizen in my everyday life, but also um, as an employee of, of, uh, of, of this project, um, I, I feel grateful for, for the opportunity. That I enjoy the most, and I'm also a really huge fan of TV shows, uh, superhero and fantasy TV shows, you know, Marvel, Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, Lord of the Rings, you just name it and I have probably watched it or at least I know about it. Uh, there's a lot going on on TV now. Uh, and then I'm also trying to balance those hobbies and, and those efficiencies with, with the sports. I'm not a pretty sporty uh, person, but starting this year I have uh, starting ex exercise and well, it's it's still a work in progress, but I also enjoy doing some sports now and then. To be honest, uh, what I can tell you is that I enjoy learning or at least trying to learn new languages. So probably I would have dedicated myself to something related in the field of, of language if I were not a, a researcher. My advice is that if you want to do it, uh, you should do it and you should do it now, you know, because a lot of people, and I think a lot of young people do not chase their goals because we have this idea of maybe it's not the right moment or maybe I'm not qualified enough. And the hard truth is, at least in my opinion, uh, that there might not be never this perfect moment to do it or, you know, you might not be as qualified as you think you should be. Uh, but it's if you want to do it, it's worth giving it a try and allowing yourself to learn in, in the process if this is what you what you enjoy. So go for it if, if you feel like you'd like to pursue a, a career in, in science and, and, and in any field actually. So this is a broad advice if, if you let me. To keep learning and I think the my, my working in COVID is allowing me to do that part so I'm, I'm happy with that and then I also want to keep growing professionally of course and, and personally. <laughs>